Hey guys, it's Kristen. So I asked you on Twitter and my community page on YouTube if I should do a at-home workout now that everyone's on lockdown from this coronavirus. And most of you said yes. So we're gonna do that today. Um, I'm not gonna make this super long video. I'm just gonna show you the workouts that I do and then you guys can pause the video and do those and then replay for the next one. I've actually lost about seven pounds in the last three or four months. So I kind of feel like I know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not an expert at all though. This is just what I personally do. One thing before we jump into the video, diet is gonna be very important. You cannot just work out and eat 5,000 calories a day. It will not work. So I'm not saying you have to go vegetarian or anything like that, but really try to work on your portion control and just try to eat as healthy as you can when you can. But let yourself cheat because you could actually gain weight if you get too stressed out about worrying about food. I eat pizza, I eat Chinese food, burgers, we eat out all the time. But when I can eat healthy, I do. So diet is key. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First thing, Cardio and I know you're like Ugh, cardio just do it now We are fortunate enough to have a treadmill, but guess what you can just walk outside It's the same thing and I know a lot of people struggle with just get going with working out and I'm exactly the same way I really didn't want to work out this morning, but my way of thinking of it is I would rather work out and get it over with than be heavy or fat or whatever you want to call it and be out of shape and not like the way I look and things like that. So you just have to decide how important is it to you. So just do it. It's 30 minutes. Just do it. You can just get it over with. All right. So I just finished my 30 minutes of cardio and now the next thing is this weight, but obviously not everyone has that. So what you can do instead of these weights is you can do push-ups. The nice thing with the push-ups is you can do them at any rate that you want. You can do them at any strength. So if you can't do push-ups on the floor, the stairs are a little bit easier, and then a wall is even easier than that. So the next thing I'm gonna do are arm dips. I'm not really sure if that's what they're called, um, but I do these on my bench. Now, an alternative is stairs. If you have, everyone has to have stairs. And if you don't have stairs, you can use a table, a bench, a chair, anything like that. So now I normally do 15 of these arms and 15 of the arm dips and then I do repeat that three times. Now I had to work up to that, you may not be able to do that many, but just do as many as you can and just make it a challenge where every day you try to do more. In between these, I usually do my leg machine right here. Um, this I can guarantee nobody has, this is thing like, they made like 200 of them. But what you can do instead is do jumping jacks. So if you are gonna go the jumping jack route, I would try to do 25 to 50. So as a quick recap, you're gonna do arms either on this machine or push-ups. Try to do 15 to 25. Then for arm dips, same thing, 15 to 25. Jumping jacks, 25 roughly. Then pause and wait, you know, 30, 60 seconds, and then repeat. So arms, dips, jumping jacks. Now I'm gonna come back to arms again in a minute, but I just need to let them rest because they're getting a little you know, shaky and sore, but I'm gonna now do some legs and maybe some abs, and then we'll come back and do arms again. I had a little breath a little bit from all the jumping jacks, but now I'm gonna go into a leg kick. Listen, I do not know what these things are called. I just do them and they work, so I'll show you what I'm talking about. So when I do these exercises, I usually do 50 per leg, but to make it a little easier, you can break it up into 25. So do 25 on one leg and then rotate, and then just come back and do another 25 again. This next one I call the butt kick. Pretty sure that's not what it's called. This exercise I also do 50 per leg, but again, you can break it up into doing only 25 um, per leg at a time. Now another great exercise you can do at home is squats and lunges. I personally hate both of these, so I don't do them all the time, but I do do them about once a week. The easiest and laziest way to do this is just sit on a wall. Play with your phone, read a book, something to keep you occupied from the pain that you're feeling in your legs. And just stay here as long as you can. I just hit my head on the light. All right, for my lunges, I've been doing this the same way for probably 10 years. Just find a straightaway somewhere in your house, a hallway, something like that, and do lunges down and back and down and back until your legs feel like they're gonna fall off. I almost fell over laughing at myself. <sighs> so yeah, 
I did 23, I think. I don't know, I lost count when I started laughing. But anyways, I tried to do like 25 to 50, but today, from showing you guys this, I've been doing everything like double. I'm tired, so I'm not doing it anymore. Just get yourself a pair of weights. I feel like everyone has weights because at some point in your life you said you were gonna work out and then you never did, but you have them somewhere. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you an alternative though if you don't have weights. So pretty much you're gonna start like this, and you're gonna go around this way, and in like on top of your head. I just don't know if you can see me. Okay. So you go around like this, and like this. This might seem like nothing. Do ten of them and tell me how it feels. This actually can be like really, really good for your arms. Um, it does hurt after a while, but that's good, right? So you're working like pretty much your whole flabby arm, you know, like you want that like thing that shakes when you <laughs> point or move your arm. We can get rid of that right now doing this. So I'm gonna do 25 of these. I'm gonna try to, my arms really, really hurt right now. Now, if you don't have any weights in your house, use something else. I have a big thing of salsa I could use. Um, I also have a huge <laughs> gallon of milk. You know, if you have empty ones of these, fill them with water and then you can do like this with your arm. Oh my God, make sure the cap is on. We'll go this way. Um, <laughs> so you can go like this. Or you know, you can, if you have two gallons of milk, you can go like this. So I mean, there's options. I, I just don't want you to sit at home and be like, well, I don't have weights, I don't have this. You can do stuff. Just find something heavy and lift it up. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do is some ab workouts. The first one I'm gonna show you is like my go-to. I do it all the time, I love it. It does take a little practice because you need balance, but let me show you what I do. And I do 25. Another ab workout I do all the time is just like your standard ab, um, but I do find like a chair or couch or something and stick your feet under there and then just don't use momentum. Don't swing yourself up because that's not doing anything, so go slow. The last one has a name. People do it all the time and I can't think of it right now. I just call it the plank up down, but it's definitely not what it's called. So I try to do 25 of these as well. Pretty much you go to uh, push up and then elbow, elbow, up, up, elbow, elbow, up, up. I think that's gonna be it for today. I'm so tired. I'm pretty sure I did a double workout today because I kept messing up the video. So I ended up doing everything like twice. Whew, it's a good workout. I really used one machine, pretty much, and that was the treadmill. And I am sweaty and exhausted, and I burned a lot of calories, I'm pretty sure. You guys can do this. It's not that hard. You guys are in quarantine. What else do you have to do? Come out of quarantine and be 20 pounds lighter, right? Anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and then hit this bell so you're alerted when I upload a new video. I'll talk to you later.